What's up, D Buns? What's up, D Bows? Let me clear my throat before I keep going. <clears throat> What's up, you guys? So I hope you guys are having like an amazing day. I thought I would do this video. This is definitely not going to be a hair tutorial, but I will be putting my wig on more or less like a get ready with me. I'm not really sure where I'm going. I'm honestly not going nowhere. Like seriously, I ain't going nowhere. So you're just going to get ready with me so I can look cute for when my man come home from work, I could just look representable. You know, like, is that a representable? Okay. A present, excuse me, presentable. Y'all already know what I mean. I want to look presentable. I do have some items that I'm going to be reviewing and trying out. Some things I'm just going to show you guys because I know you love a Dollar Tree just as much as me. I wasn't there to purchase these items. And now this is at the Dollar Tree, like I said, that's around the corner from me that has never any good stuff. Like seriously, they never have any good stuff. You can get lucky once in the blue. That's where I got all those great lashes from, surprisingly. Other than that, you know, I do have some other items here, some boxy charm crap that I wasn't too happy with this month. They got they they really strung me in last month. I, I'm gonna be honest and say that they really strung me in for my June box, my July box that just came a few days ago, because today is July 23rd. It comes a little bit late now due to the COVID. This box, I was not like, you know, I wasn't doing bad flicks. I was like 50-50 with this box. Last month, the boxes, I was all the way in 100%. That's how they get you. I'm gonna just show you guys real quick what I got from the Dollar Tree. If you love crafts, like doing crafts like me, then you may want to check the Dollar Tree. Now, they have these here, which are the mesh rolls. I bought two of them. They're, they come in three different colors. Um, unfortunately, the white was out. The very first time that I've ever seen the rolls this big. Only I mean, they have them super small. Like this here is 10 yards for a dollar. For a dollar, make me holla. Okay, seriously. Now, this is just mesh, um, decorative mesh. You could do anything with this. It says for floor arrangements, home decor ends easily and holds its shape. So you get 10 yards for a dollar. Normally you get the smaller rolls like this at the Dollar Tree, but for a dollar, I've never used these before, but I figured I'm going to find something to do with them. And even if I don't find something to do with them right now, I'm pretty sure they'll come in handy for the future. I mean, I'm not going to kick myself in the ass because I only spent $2 on these. I've seen these on like Amazon, eBay, craft stores for like 20 bucks. So for a dollar, make me holla. You cannot beat that. So I bought two of those. They would have had had the white because I would have really probably stocked up on those. God knows what I would have did with them, but I would have definitely purchased them. Another great find that I found at that same Dollar Tree that same day was some cosmetics, not some, just one, which is by Hard Candy. I purchased this from Walmart. I have the same exact bronzer, Hard Candy, in this color and in another color called Tiki. This is the color that I used up, and this is in the color Heat Wave. These normally run $7, 7 to $8 at Walmart, and this is a really good product. It's by Hard Candy, and it's a bronzer for a dollar. You can't beat that. Um, I didn't get the Tiki because I already have two of those that I have purchased over the past couple years. And if you do see this at your local Dollar Tree, definitely pick them up because like I said, they're like about $8 at your local Walmart. Now, before we even get into this, you guys know I have done two videos so far for a company called Sheen. They have their own makeup brand, which is called She Glam. They just sent me some really cool products again, very affordable. Not everything is skin tone friendly. And what I mean by that is the foundation. Like they don't really have like a lot of colors to choose from. So if you're a darker complexion, darker than me, you may not find any foundations, but you can do the concealers because you know we like lighter concealers and you can do the other makeup. Like it's really cheap and expensive and the packaging is really cute. Plus the colors, the pigmentations of them is, it's not really a hit or miss, but it just all depends on you. I have several different eyeshadow palettes from them that I really do like and the colors come up really good. So I will say that they do have some good affordable makeup. Plus the shipping is fairly like, I'm not gonna say speedy overnight, but depending on what you choose to get your shipping, then I'm pretty sure you'll make out like a bandit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You make out good. They did send me some new stuff that I'm gonna show you guys. And also I do have some stuff from one of my favorite websites where you can get some free products or gifted products in return for an unbiased review, which is Octoly. They have really great products on their website for makeup, hair care. Sometimes they have like food, nutritional, and also sometimes they have like yoga wear or athletic wear, things like that. So if you do social media, you definitely want to check them out because you can get really great products. And in return, all they ask for is a review or a post. I got my wig back here. This is my headband wig from RPG Show. Girl, I washed her because I've been wearing her every single day. 
over a week and a half now. I'm about to put her on when we're done with this. First thing we're gonna start off with is the Boxy Charm Base Box, which is $25 a month. You do get to choose one item out of that box if you're lucky enough to get the email from them that it's your choice time or if you remember enough to go on the website and check. What I do is I put a calendar reminder of the date because I have missed out quite a few times. I'm not really too, listen, I'm just be real. I'm not really too happy about this product, okay? Uh, this box, I'm, I'm definitely not too happy about this box. The theme is like sunshine. It's got some lemons and some water. I am number 43 variation box. You'll see on the left or the right corner at the bottom with a, star, with a heart and a number, that means your variation box. Honestly, I did not know that there were so many variations, 43. That's a lot. Like, I didn't know it could go up that high. Or what am I getting? It's funny thing because my daughter, Janae, she also gets this. She buys her own. Her products and my products were totally different. The only thing that we got the same was, was this vitamin C stuff here. Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It's a watermelon green tea pineapple scent. I didn't try this out because, like I told you guys in, like, other prior videos, I have enough skincare products. I don't really like putting a whole bunch of stuff on my face all the time. If you keep continuously putting different products on your face, like daily or maybe weekly you're never gonna know what's breaking you out or what's not good for your skin so I really try to stick to what I like and what works for me and if it doesn't work then I'll move on but I didn't want to try this out yet but this is just supposed to enhance and brighten your skin not really sure how I feel about this my daughter did try hers out that it worked good for her but we have different skin types and then my daughter Tatiana tried it out she said it burnt her, her, her skin it had her skin kind of like stinging it's vitamin c it's a brightening booster not really like a huge fan of this this has a price value of 49.95 which it did pay for the entire box already because it's 25 dollars yeah i wasn't too happy about that the other product that i got in here which i'm not like the hugest fan of because i have several of these honestly i just hate them lavish quick color switch dry brush cleaner i got several of these all this is is a sponge inside take your makeup brush and clean it really quick this has a price value of $17. I have so many makeup brushes, I just put them to the side and then when it's time to wash them, I will. So, you know, I'll just put it to the side and use a new one. But you can get the extra debris or extra powder off before using it again. But I'm not like a huge fan of these. I, I literally hate them, okay? So in the box, I got a pair of slanted tweezers. Okay, great. Price value at $20. They tried to use these today to apply my individuals. They're kind of tricky only because of the way they're created. This part right here in the middle is a little stiff and it's kind of hard to pinch close. I really prefer the neck where the tweezer part is at, the plucking part, you know, the slanted part to be a lot longer. You see how short these are? Now, this part I do like to be really long down here. That'll help me apply. So I'm not like a huge fan of this tweezer. $20 is something that I would not purchase. It's by a brand called Chella. You know, tweezers are tricky. You, When you find a good pair that really are comfortable to your grip, then keep them. I've had this one pair for like 10 years. They work great. I have several different types of tweezers. That one seems to be the one that works best for me, applying my individuals and even tweezing my brows. One item that I did like is the Everyday Bakay. And I think this brand is called Siate. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Kiate Coconut Skin Primer. And it gives you like a dewy look. I've used it three days in a row. And you know me, I have oily skin, but I will try something out. It didn't have me looking oily. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to look oily regardless. It just doesn't matter. But it does have a really refreshing scent. This retails for $22. Not bad for $22. Like, hey, this is really worth the $22. I think I have like three things from this particular brand. And that's only due to BoxyCharm. So that's the one good thing about BoxyCharm. If you haven't tried a brand, you have chances and many different opportunities with their monthly subscription box. The last item in this monthly base box was the Pure Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the Festival 2.0, which retails for $36. This is a 12 piece pressed pigments palette. And I do like the actual box. Like the packaging is really pretty. And on the back, it does give you the color names. Did not use it yet. I did do some swatches on it. It does come with a mirror. These are not really colors that I would use on an everyday basis, especially not this pink right here, which is called Turn It Up. I really like natural looking colors because I told you guys all the time, I am not a makeup artist. So for me to put loud colors on my eyes, I guarantee you it's going to look like mud by the time I finish blending. Like the colors on the top and down here are really nice. You know, it just depends on you yourself. But I paid $36 for this. 
definitely not to me it's not worth that but pure is a really good brand too you know i do have quite a few items from them that i have gotten like from octoly i would say out of the entire box the one thing that's my favorite is this here which is the setting spray it seems like one month you get a good month and then the next month you don't go box charm i really can't tell you you guys will definitely have to share your experience with me i did cancel ipsy one because it was really doing me dirty after like this the, the second month so i was just kind of like over them i really didn't want to spend more than $12 a month with them so I just left it at that. So let's move into the premium boxy charm that is I think it's like $34 after taxes $38. So for the premium box this is it right here and I was kind of happy with this box okay so that's the reason why I'm saying I'm on the fence because I don't really know which one to cancel like $25 is is a good price and then $34 is not a bad price either but you don't really want to spend on both you know what I'm saying and then Quarterly, you spend 50 and 38, so it's like, I don't really know. I don't really know anymore what to do. You know, you guys have any opinions and suggestions, please leave it below. For this month, I did make my choice, and they, this box was pretty decent. Like, I liked everything in here except for one item. So like, for my choice item, I did pick the Brow Bar Hollywood Icon Collection, okay? This is a really nice collection. It comes with bronzers, blush, highlight, and four eyeshadows. When I first seen the box on um, BoxyCharm to choose, I really did think like it was all eyeshadows just because of the way it was packaged. This is so pretty. I got fingerprints all over it because I was I was using it. And this is more, this is right up my alley for colors. First of all, the mirror is really nice, okay? Nice huge mirror. The palette itself is actually really, really gorgeous, okay? So on the top colors, it does come with one of these little janky brushes right here, which I'm not really too concerned about. But this is the highlights. The highlights are down here. Let me turn my light down. So these are the highlights at the bottom right here, which are decent colors depending on your skin color. And then up here, these are the two blushes, okay? I really honestly thought that this was these were eyeshadows just because of how small they were. Then you have bronzer and the highlight. This is very pale for my skin to definitely put as a highlight. I'm not going to use this. I'll probably use this for a highlight for my brows or eyeshadows right here. Quite frankly, you can use all of this for your eyes if you wanted to. I like the whole aesthetic of this palette. It retails for $45. Is it worth $45 to me? I would definitely say it is because of the packaging, the color payoff, and the versatility of it. So... Really happy about that choice. Manny MUA and Morphe's eyeshadow palette, Glam Palette. I was I was excited about this palette. I've never had anything by Manny MUA, and this retails for twenty dollars on the Morphe website. I have plenty of Morphe eyeshadow palettes, but never anything with a collaboration with any makeup artist. So they have this picture on the back, which is really cute. I remember when he first started out, and I used to watch him, and also another really nice mirror in it. And then the colors also are really pretty in it. 12 eyeshadows and two highlights, okay? These highlights are bomb as hell. And the colors, you know, the colors I would, I think I would use every last one of these colors. The color names are kind of cute. This one right here, the Aries color, reminds me a lot of one of Matt's um, eyeshadows. For the life of me, I can't remember the name, but it reminds me a lot of the MAC eyeshadow. Really nice palette for $20. You can't beat this. This is definitely worth, to me, $20, especially because you get a good size mirror and you get all of these pretty colors. This was definitely worth that. This is for dry cuticles, honey, okay? Cuticle revising oil. It has milk and honey in it. It's by the brand Cuchillo. I'm not really sure. I did use this on my dry cuticles, okay? It works really good. Like, it comes with this dropper. Retails for $18. $18 is not bad for this. You get a nice size bottle. I'm going to just put some on my dry cuticles. Now, if y'all could see that, if you could see my cuticles close up, y'all be like, yeah, girl. Yeah, you need this. This works really good. I tried this out. And I have another cuticle oil that works just as good, too. But this one, I like it because it seems like it goes on a lot smoother and you don't need a lot. But girl, it smells good too. This stuff smells good. Really good product. So. Also, I've been using this here. I have several toners. This toner right here by the brand called Biro. I think that's how you pronounce it. Biro Bitter Essence Toner. Damn. 
Okay, so this retails for $95. The Bitter Green Essence Toner is packed with 33 different green vegetable extracts, including artichoke, broccoli, and basil that will hydrate and purify your skin, helping to smooth unwanted textures. This mega dose of an antioxidants will nourish the skin while protecting it from premature aging. So let me tell y'all about this. First of all, like I said, I have several different toners. There's one that I use on a daily basis. When you wash your face and you scrub it really good, sometimes there is a little bit of oil left or makeup in your skin that you're in your pores. Toner always seems to get it out for me. This one seemed like it worked extra hard more than versus my normal toner. I was sitting in, I was doing like a test. I had just finished washing my face, scrubbing it, you know, and I use my one toner that I normally use on one side and this one. This one seemed to pick everything up more. So I will say that I do like this. And it looks like when I first looked at it, I, I'm looking at it like, is this like a jelly substance? But it's actually the glass that it's in. So for $95, um, do I think it's worth $95? Um, geez, I don't really know because... Listen, I wouldn't, me honestly, I wouldn't pay $95 for this. I'll just use my other toner and just go extra harder. But I'm glad I got it in the BoxyCharm box. But I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't pay $95 for this. Another but, product that I was super happy about was the Milk Makeup Lash Primer. I really did think this was mascara. And I was like, oh yes, I got me a new mascara. Because you guys know I love to use my one and only 3D MAC mascara. So when I realized that this was an actual primer, I was kind of like bummed down, like great, a primer. I don't really use primers. I mean, I have some, but I don't really use, use them. Now let me tell y'all about this primer. First of all, this thing is huge and this has weight to it. This is like a metal casing. It feels like it, whatever it's made of, it has weight to it, okay? This has superior weight to it versus this here. This thing is heavy, okay? The brush is pretty good. You know, it is white because it's primer and it'll make your lashes look thicker. So I definitely don't use them on my false lashes, but I do use them on my bottom lashes. Did it work for me? So I did, did it work? Like, you know what I'm saying? I really can't tell you because when I used it, I used this and this always makes your lashes look defined and huge. So I really can't tell you. I mean, I'm gonna try it out again and I'm still gonna use the MAC 3D mascara because that's all I really like to use. But this definitely has some weight to it. And the last item that I wasn't too happy about was the Nelson Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask, which detangles, controls frizz, prevents hair color fading, split ends, protects from chlorine and salt water, restores silkness and shine, enhances natural body, coconut scent, hair mask. I have so many different products for hair care that this added to my collection was not like a huge thrill. It says it does retail for $24. I'm not really sure if they're talking about this size because if they are talking about this size, which is only 3.4 fluid ounces, then I definitely would not pay $24 for this. Hopefully they are referring to a bigger size. One item that I did get in my Bossy Charm, and I, 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 I forgot to show you this guys, um, was these I Am Body Care Dead Sea Minerals. This was from last month. And I have so many facial wipes that I didn't even really care to show it. I decided to use it the other day because I was done with one pack. So it removes even waterproof mascara, Dead Sea Minerals, and Vitamin C Serum. These come in a 25 pack, 25 in here. I can't remember the price value of this. I use it on my face. It gives you like this oily finish versus this. This is really good to remove your eye makeup or any type of makeup on your face versus like a regular facial wipe. But here's the downfall of this. Let me tell y'all, when I started cleaning around my eye area with this, my eyes started burning and they started tearing. And I wasn't sure if I had something in my hands or on my fingers that got into my eye. Teared and was irritated for like 30 minutes. Makeup was removed easily with this. Went to use it the next day, same prognosis, same thing happened with my eyes. Day after that, same thing. So whatever's in this, um, which is Dead Sea Mineral Plus Vitamin C Serum, you want to be really careful putting this near your eye area because it will sting and burn in your eyes. Yeah, it makes the makeup remove super quickly, but whatever ingredients that's in here, it was really irritating to my eyes and it was like, you know, kind of stinging and my eyes were so irritated that, you know, I just kept rubbing and rubbing. So I know it's this product. So I try to avoid using it around my eyes and just my face and I use something different. It's a really good facial wipe, but you just definitely have to be 
very careful in the eye area. Now I did get some stuff from She Glam like I was telling you guys, but okay, first of all, let me show you what I got from Octoly, which are two things from Avon, and I love Avon. You guys remember Avon? My mom used to sell Avon. I remember she had this nice Avon tote bag, and she would get those little tiny lipsticks, you know what I'm saying, for samples. And I remember her just always, like, sometimes she would give me one or two to play with. Those little lipsticks were so cute, and they would last my mom forever. She has so many of them. Avon has just been around forever. Like, seriously, I love Avon. Um, Mary Kay, I don't really like Mary Kay. They're overpriced and overrated. But Avon always has, like, some really good stuff. And I have quite a few Avon cosmetics in my collection. So I got this Ink Lasting Cushion Slim Fit from Oxley. I was gifted this from Oxley in return from Unbiased Review. And the color that I got is N60. Now here's the issue with that. When you're looking at foundation on a computer monitor, sometimes colors may vary. And so what you see may not actually be your color. Maybe a little bit too light when you get it, and it definitely may be a little bit too dark. Just from looking at the actual monitor, I assumed that this one here, which is the Rich Honey, would be my color because I've gotten the color Honey in Avon Foundation many times. First of all, it comes with this cute little mirror, and then it has the cushion pad, and then you lift it up, here goes the color. The color is way too dark for my face. I was unable to use it as a foundation, but I did get to use this as a contour color, which worked out for me, you know. Listen, if you can't use it for your face, try to use it for something else. I mean, don't let it go to waste. That's what I'm gonna end up using this for. It's a good product. I do like the consistency of it. It worked well as a contour, but unfortunately due to my fault, I wasn't able to pick the right color just because of the color of the monitor. And that's one thing that I really don't like to do is order foundation online if I have never tried that particular brand. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather go in store, but you know, you win some, you lose some. This is their ink lasting cushion. It's very convenient. And another product that I was also gifted from Octoly in return for my review is another Avon product, which is their Cashmere Complexion Longwear Concealer. I got this color in bisque and I've used this several times already. It's not as light as I would like it to be, but sometimes you like that natural look, girl. You don't want to look like you're too made up, which is fine. And it does work, so I'm going to be using this today. I do have one foundation. I decided to use something different in my makeup collection. I used this here, Revlon. This is their, you know, I got this on clearance for $3.48 at Target, okay? This is their Photo Ready Candid Foundation, and I used this today on my face, along with my Beauty Blender. That's why y'all can see my freckles more, because it's not so heavy, it's not full coverage. I mean, you can make it, it has a natural finish, and I wanted something natural, because I don't really like to have my freckles covered all the time. Normally, I use this here, which is one of my favorites, and this is by Becca Cosmetics. This is their Weightless Lightweight Foundation. Listen, okay, this isn't a color bamboo. You guys see it's in a baggie right now because I couldn't get any more out. So I had to cut it open and I didn't want it to dry out. So I guess I'll have to order some more, but I'm going to use all of this up before I order more because it's not cheap. And I'm thinking, should I put some, I'm gonna put a little bit on, okay? Just a little bit because I feel like I don't even have foundation on, which is cool because I really don't like to wear foundation. It's too damn hot. Now on to She Glam. They did send me some new products. So for She Glam, they sent me their 3D Pro Face Palette. This is in the color Peachy. They have a couple few of these. Um, I think these are like nine, between six and nine dollars. Really inexpensive. Their packaging is cute, okay? Peachy, She Glam, Estate She Glam. It's with four different colors. This is a creamy highlight, and then the rest of them are just powder. And I'm gonna show those. I did use this one, and I did use this one here. It's a really good palette for the price. We have the Sea Foam Eyeshadow Palette. They all come in like these really cute packaging. These colors are really pretty. They're more on the blue side. They have some really nice items and I like their packaging and the prices are super affordable. I did get some other items from She Glam. This is the metallic glow blush. This is in the color Far Out. You guys know I love like peaks and peaches. They have many different types of styles to their packaging. And then another one that I was able to choose is called Sagittarius. It has a soft texture, but when you swatch it, kind of gives you like iridescence of like peach and pink in it, like reflections of those colors in it. It's a very pretty highlight. Also, I did receive um, a liquid eyeliner. The tip looks 
like it's gonna be easy, we shall see. This is just a natural color black. Contour stick in the color Mocha. And at one end it has a brush. The other end, it has the actual contour stick, and this is in the color Mocha. It's a little bit browner than me because, you know, it's a contour stick. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to use this today. You know, I did use it. The color wasn't really there for me. Like, you really couldn't see it like that. It also get two matte lipsticks. This one is in the color Retro Rose. No, this is my color, okay? I love colors like this. This might be a little deep for me, a little bit pink pink. We gonna see, but I like the way they package everything. And then I also did get the color Night Out. I think I was half sleep when I chose this because I don't even remember choosing. I would never choose this color. This is like a plum color. This is definitely not April friendly. Like I don't even know how I ended up putting this in the uh, items of choice. Like I said, the monitor, I don't know if I was half sleep or if it was the monitor. But listen, but I'll show you the other items afterwards because they're not really re makeup related. Yeah, let's just put my foundation on. But like I was saying, it don't really look like I have more foundation. So I did want to put some more. The natural finish is cool, but mm, this is how I use this. Okay, so don't laugh at me. Okay, so this is how I use this steel. Now you see it's cut open. You just got to cut off a little bit of the top because I don't really need that much. Okay, this is how I use this because I refuse to buy more. You know, it has like these one of these little pumps and once it gets to like a certain amount, you can never pump it out anymore. And I tried so hard to get the top off of it, but that wasn't working either, so. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Yeah, I really don't like to keep buying foundation because I have so much foundation. I probably have like 20 different brands of foundation and I hate to keep buying more and not using it. And when I have something that I really, really do like, I'm gonna just use it to the end. I'm just gonna take my Maybelline and I'm just gonna warm my eyes up with this. I just take a little bit of my foundation and put it in my eye crease because I don't really like a whole bunch of eyeshadow on my eyelids, especially because I'm not that great at doing it. But that's the reason why I always do neutral eye. Now for the bottom lids, let's see what color we're gonna use. I really did wanna use the um, She Glam but I'm not really sure about the colors because they're more or less blue and I don't really want a blue look today. I'm thinking that I won't use their eyeshadow but I will use their other palette. So I'm going to use the Manny makeup palette and the first color I'm going to use is going to be called Zaya which is this pretty brown color. You know I ain't trying to go overboard. Okay that color, this color is nice. You know, depending on how much you pick up on a brush, this color is actually a pretty brown color. I like this. This color is really pretty. And the brush that I'm using is the Sedona Lace Brush. This is the EB09. They have some really nice makeup brushes. They remind me of MAC brushes, but definitely lower in price. I've been using their brushes for years. Like, I have a lot of their brushes. Funny thing is, I can never do the left eye when it comes to eyeshadow. Like, I can do it, but... Seems like the right always comes out better, and then the left will come out better for like eyeliner. Does anybody else have like those issues when doing their makeup? I know I am a neutral gal. Let's see about the brow bar. This is going to be a long ass video, and I do apologize, you guys. I see the brow bar's colors are like this for the eyeshadow, okay? This is their colors for the eyeshadow. So I could either do green, which, you know, I never do. That's not a bad color. I don't really know. It's not Christmas time. The purple is not bad either. This is not even purple. This is like, well, I like this color, but I've done this. You know what? I don't even know. I know I should have came prepared, you guys. This is kind of really too light. Um, what about over it. Yeah, no. Mm, and this is a palette that I gotta try out before I come on here looking stupid. All right, this is the color we're gonna go for. Let's pray it looks good. I'm 
I'm just gonna blend it up and just kind of soften it. That's a pretty color, but I'm definitely go back into Manny's palette and use that brown again just to. A Spellbound is also a nice color and Howl, and I'm trying to see what could I smoke it out with, but I know me, if I go in too deep, it's going to look like mud. So I'm going to just stop right there for right now. And then I'm going to use this liquid eyeliner. We're just going to wing this, okay? I'm going to try this out. I'm not the best at doing eyeliner. Oh, God, please. Okay, for $3, it's gliding on real easy. And my hands are shaky today. Oh, amazing. Now this eye want to come out looking like crap. All right, I fixed it up as best as I could. I'm, I'm not really too concerned with it because I'm going to put some lashes over it. But for my face, uh, my concealer, I'm going to be using the Avon Concealer. So let's try this Avon Concealer out. This is the Cashmere Complexion. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And then for the areas that I do want a little bit lighter, I'm going to go ahead in and use my Sheen Glam Concealer. I got this last month. This is the I, this is the Pro Long Wear Concealer. I don't really know the color that I have because once you take it out the box, girl, that's it. But it's the color that I need. For the contour color, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use the Avon Ink Elastic Cushion. And I'm just going to take a smaller brush because, like I said, I have to use it as a conceal, not as concealer, but as a um, contour. So I'm just going to take this brush. I'm just going to press it in. This is brown, girl. And I'm just going to make the best out of a bad situation. I mean, and it's not even a bad situation. It's just that the color was, you know, all wrong. But I'm going to make the best of it. Now, I'm thinking that this brown is on a cool tone side. And the day that I did try it out, I did have other makeup on already. So, I don't know. I do like it to be a little bit lighter. This color is not bad, you know what I'm saying? But because my skin is lighter, I'm just gonna take some of my She Glam, just a little. I only use a little bit when I already have a concealer on because it'll start looking really cakey. Then I'll just let it dry a little bit. Then I'll just use the same brush, which is by Billion Dollar Brush. I love this. This is a sculpting dual brush, but I love this brush. So I'll just take it. Their concealer for She Glam is bomb as hell. For like $3, you cannot beat that. Really good product. Uh, as for the color, you don't really see a lot of the brown, which is a good thing because I don't want it too dark. And I think like the color is good enough for me. And just to like bring it down, just like highlight it a little bit, I'm just gonna take that same concealer from Avon. And I'm just gonna put that there for a second and let it dry. Okay, and while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and use this eyelash primer by Milk. Let's see how this works out, girl. But the color of the eye, the eye makeup is, listen, it's still neutral for a girl. Okay, you wanna make sure this dries first. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm just going to blend in everything else. Like this concealer from Avon is like almost my skin complexion, which I'm not even complaining about. 
I'm going to then go into the Coco Contour by Too Faced that I got last month in my Boxy Luxe, I think it was. And I'm just going to take this deep um, contour. Like, I really prefer, like, to do powder contours, you know? I mean, I do do liquid and cream, but powder always seems like to come out, like, perfect. Like, I'm really not going anywhere, you guys, but why am I doing all this, right? Now, the set... Under my eyes, I do have this other product from She Glam, which I got last month. This is their uh, uh, setting powder. The color is dark brown, but girl, like I was telling you guys, not all of the colors is geared to our skin tones. Like, they're not going to have people of color, women of color skin tone. So, it's really like a light color. This is supposed to be dark brown, okay? So, I'm just going to take a tad bit of this. Then I'm going to spray my face down with this here. I think it's pronounced Kiate. I don't know. Dewy Setting Mist. So this is to set your face with. You know, I'm not done, but this is what I do. And I don't want it too dry when I put my face powder on because then it doesn't seem like it really sticks good. And I just like to use the Norm. Nothing expensive, you know. This is Maybelline's. It was not expensive because it was on clearance at Target. I will go back into the setting spray because now I'm about to put some highlight on my cheeks. So I want to look dewy, y'all. Like, I want to look like I am really dewy and sweaty. Plus, it smells good. For my blush, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the blush from um, She Glam, which is in the color Far Out. Look, I, I just be really light-handed with a lot of stuff. Because I'd be scared, like, oh my god, if I go too heavy-handed, I'm going to look crazy. So I'd rather just dab a little bit and keep going. Like, you know, build it up versus just plop it on. Because once you make a mistake, you got to, it's like really, it's like work to correct it, okay? And I just put it on the apples of my cheeks. And now for, I'm not really sure if I should use the single highlight from She Glam. Or I'm just going to show you guys the... Face 3D uh, face palette. This is the 3D face palette. It comes with four different colors. I'm not going to use the cream one because it always ends up making you blotchy. So I think I'm going to try out. The first one I'm going to try out is going to be this golden color here at the bottom, like the champagne color. Trust me, I'm going to definitely fix that. Yeah. I'm like glistening like a, yeah. Now the one thing I'm noticing about this Milk Lash Primer is it's still white. I'm gonna try this color right here. This is one that I will definitely go lightly with. Not too bad. I'm not really sure about this color because I'm really, this is probably, this is highlight. We're going to cut a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to use my favorite mascara, which is the MAC 3D. Now y'all see why I love this mascara so much. These are just individual lashes. You know, they stay on for like two weeks. I just did them today. So I'm just going to put a little mascara on them. I don't really go ham on them. Just a little bit to darken the hairs. And I think I'm going to put on some strips. I'm not really sure. I have some really nice ones from the Dollar Tree. Hi, baby. The color from Manny Makeup, Manny MUA, is a really nice color palette. I do like this palette. Um, as for the colors in the brow bar, they're really pretty too. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes. These strip lashes are from the Dollar Tree, like I was showing you guys. I did do a video on them. So I'm just going to put these on off camera. 
and then I'll be right back. So I got on my Dollar Tree lashes, okay? And then we're gonna put the lipstick on and then the hair and then that's gonna be the end of it. Because the eyeshadow is this purplish, plumish, dark color, I guess I'm gonna have to use this dark color from She Glam, which is Night Out. Definitely not my color, but we're gonna try it out, so bear with me. Better yet, bear with me off camera. I'm gonna retry this again. Ooh, child. All right, guys, so I put the lipstick on. Over top of it, I put the lighter pink shade because it was a little bit bright. It wasn't kind of, I just didn't want it too bright. So I just put this over a little bit just to bring the color down a little bit. And now it's time to put on this headband wig from RPG Show. Like I said, I went ahead and rewashed it. I got me some new headbands from the Dollar Tree, honey. This actually came from the Dollar Tree. I got two of these and a blue and a red. Okay, I also got this pretty velvet one here. I think it's velvet or velour. I just call it velvelore because that's just what I be calling it. But I got one of those from there too. I also got this one here, which is really cute. And these ones are wide enough for the front, but not the back if you wanted to put it up in a bun or a ponytail. I got this snake print one. I got two of these actually, just in case I wanted to put it up in a bun. I could just turn the other one around and have it, you know, wider and just slip this underneath the front of the first one. Also seen this pretty Belvalor cheetah print one also from the Dollar Tree. This one is from the 99 cent store. I got plenty of these. I do see people wearing these as masks, but they're, you can do different types of things with these. These are headbands, and you can also wear them over your entire head. And then I got this scarf from the Dollar Tree because I thought it would be a cute headband. So let's go ahead and try this out. I did braid my hair a little bit differently today because of the comb in the middle of the wig. I didn't want it to be pulling on my hair, so I put a braid. I braided it in a cornrow in the middle and then kind of like connected them and I also went ahead and used my Edge Natural, which I've been using every day and I'm so glad because I can see like a difference on the sides especially right here and you know not up here yet but definitely on the sides I don't really think my hair got thin right here I just got a long head I'm loving this wig from RPG show it has a velcro grip strap so that way, you know, it's a headband wig. You can put extra headbands over it. It has combs in it and an adjustable strap in the nape. Um, I also do have one from my first wig. It's made the exact same way. These are so good for people who don't know how to put on a wig or you just really don't want all of that lace glued on you or anything like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's much easier. This is definitely summertime friendly. And I just take the combs and put them in the braid so that way it doesn't pull at my edges. And I don't really slip the combs in too much because I just kind of like rest them on the actual braid. You can either wear the headband all the way pulled towards the front. If you have thin edges, then you can definitely conceal them. But I like the headband like folded back because I don't really like, you know, the whole front covered. I do like some of my hairline to show. I'll just take it and fold it over a little bit. And I like to fold it back, but I'm not really like the hugest fan of the black headband because I really just don't like black headbands. You know, it doesn't really do anything for the hair. So for today, I really wanted to try out this one here. Um, it's a scarf. If it's too long, you could definitely cut it. It's only a dollar. I'm not sure if this is the one that I want to wear today. And the headband part is not bulky at all. It actually fits really comfortable and so do the combs in it. But like I said, I just rest the combs towards on, onto the hair. And you could either take this and give you a little bow. I mean, if your head ain't too big. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a bow because, you know, my head might be a little bit too big. But we're going to see what I can do with this. I'm not really sure about this headband for this particular look. So let's try something different because I got to kind of like mess around with this one here. I really wanted to do the red one. Hmm, that doesn't match the lips. This one I already wore for the video, so maybe I'll do this one.
Auntie, the reason why I like these headbands is because you can cover the back up so then you can pull it up. So I do like a wider headband if I'm going to pull it up. know if I want the blue headband or the snake print one I like I'm going anywhere but the snake print one is really really cute bro like I said I'm not really going anywhere but you know what hold on guys this is the headband that I'm going to be rocking for today I absolutely love it Dollar Tree friendly girl you can definitely build up your headband collection from the Dollar Tree you might have to venture out to a couple of them but girl, trust me, only for a dollar, it will definitely make you holla. So I'll leave all of the information for all of the items that I showcased today or reviewed. There are two more that I'm going to show you guys really quick and then I'm going to let y'all go. So this right here, you guys know how much I love Amazon. Like they are my number one stored go-to for not anything, but just about. I did get this Bluetooth LED light strip for my daughter's room. These are so inexpensive. If you're looking for some type of spice up to either background settings, pictures, videos, bedrooms, rooms in general, just lighting, check out these LED strips. This one is super cool. I already have one in her room around her closet, but she did want another one, which is a 16 foot one. And this one is going to just go around her dresser. If you want them to go around your entire bed, I would suggest getting like the 32 inch one because my daughter Nay has that. But these are really easy to stick on. They do have like a self adhesive on the opposite side of the strip. But I did notice that it doesn't really stick on to furniture for too long. So what I would suggest is taking like some two sided tape and using that when you're using these but it comes on one of these reels and it does have a plug it also comes with one of these handy remotes where you can switch the colors and you can also dim the colors or brighten them turn it on and off you can fade strobe flash or just keep it steady the strobing drives me crazy but my daughter loves these on her closets and i will leave the information down below for the seller of these like i said i have two this is only for indoor use only. They do sell them also for outdoor usage, but these make like a huge difference. It just comes on a reel like this. There are certain things that I love to buy on Amazon and this came pretty quick. So if you're looking for some type of snazzing it up a little bit, then um, check out some LED lights. I wanted to put them in my backdrop, but I don't really know because I do have lights and you really can't see them. So I don't really know. But anyway, I will link everything down below for BoxyCharm. Oxley, Amazon, RPG Show, She Glam, and anything else that I did mention and forgot to mention just now. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, share it, you know what I'm saying? And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, and I'm sorry if it's so long. Bye. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.